It's good YouTube, Nate with Mass Collector. Back with another PSA submission video. Uh, this is going to be number six, I think. Um, submission. I actually got the fifth one and this one going out on Thursday, the uh, 28th of January is when I'm shipping these out. So I don't know if anybody's been noticing these second, third, fourth year Jordan cards just kind of going through the roof right now. It's crazy. And um, I've been, <clears throat> you know, sell, sending a lot of modern stuff in, you know, for long lead times and whatnot. But I think I want to kind of jump on the, the trends here a little bit because the, the prices are just skyrocketing on everything. Um, these are going to this group here is going to be sent in um, for the $50 a card turnaround time. So hopefully get them back in like a month, four, four weeks, five weeks or sooner. Um, I can deal with that. So, but these are probably some of my best Jordan cards that I have um, that I'm going to be sending in. So, and then I got one Dennis Rodman rookie in here, but so first off, we got the Fleer 89 uh, sticker. And I did buy this off of eBay this year. And it's an, it looks really good. Um, it's uh, perfectly centered. Top, you know, maybe it's pushed up a little bit, but it's, it looks really, really good. I mean, off a little bit left to right, a little, but it look, overall, the card just looks fantastic. Um, so that one's getting sent in, um, even on the back, it looks pretty clean, you know, a little bit of white showing on the top edge there, maybe on the corner, but as far as like the centering goes, it looks really good. Color's pretty vibrant yet. So that's the first one. Um, the pop report on this, on this thing, um, So this is number, yeah, number three, 89 sticker, PSA pop report. Still just, there's only been, uh, there's 82 tens. Um, total card submitted 57, 5,723. In nines, 1,234, eights, 2,834, and then it kind of dives off after that but um there are only 82 tens in this card and only 1234 nines for that matter um i have a psa 8 sticker and this looks 10 times better than that thing does so looking forward to seeing what i get on this um comps on this one right here i'll, I'll look them up and flash them on the on the screen uh, next one up is the 1987 sticker. So this is Jordan's second year card. Number two. Um, yeah, so this one here is 1987 Jordan sticker uh, Fleer. The second year, um, there's been a total of 5,727 submitted for submission to PSA. There's only 24 tens. Uh, there's only 606 nines. And then for eights, it, it goes up quite a bit to over 3,000. So there's only 24 tens. Um, this one looks really good. Again, it's, it's centered pretty well. Um, I actually took a microscope to it to make sure that it was indeed a sticker. Like you could see the the edge of the actual sticker on there because it looked so good when I got it. I thought maybe it was a a reprint. So who knows? It might be, but man, it looks really, really good. And I, I could swear that I, got, I actually saw the sticker part of the top of this. But I might take another look at it closer. But anyways, sending this one off. 
Um, yeah, population port super low on it. Um, I think this is a legit card. I don't think it's a reprint. So I'm going to send it in. Looks really good. Uh, the comps on that are ridiculous right now. Pop that up. Um, this one here is a 1988 Fleer sticker. Um, again, this one's centered really, really nice. Uh, top to bottom, it's almost dead on. Same with left to right. Um, there's a little bit of white in this corner. Maybe a little bit there too, but um, overall it looks really clean. Um, the back, you know, it definitely has some rub areas, some little white spots um, on the top and bottom, but not nothing, you know, like super horrible. I mean, I don't think it'll get a 10, but if it gets a nine, that's, you know, a $300 card probably the population report on this one number seven is uh, 3017 submitted total there's only 11 tens and there's only 233 nines and there's only 907 eights and then it's about 500 after that per all the way going down to like 363 PSA fours, but super low population on this one too. Um, all these cards are, are pretty low pop stuff. Uh, next one, Jordan All Star 1988 Fleer. This one is in really. This is the best one I have. Um, I think it's got a legit shot as, at getting a ten. You look at the all the way around it's it's really you know there's hardly any wear on it whatsoever and even some of the spots that you you can see they're not even that bad um it looks really it's a little off center left to right top to bottom but i mean it's 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 psa 60 40 at least for sure so um yeah there's only 350 10 tens PSA tens out there and then there's 2200 nines 2800 eights or so and then 607 so total population there's only 60 60 about 6500 that have been graded and there's only uh 350 tens so it's kind of like a five percent 10 rate on this on this card around there ballpark in it and another 1988 so this one's the base or this is the regular um, Jordan number whoops 17 yep so back not perfectly centered but technically PSA is supposed to be able to allow 9010 um, on the backs but it looks pretty good. You know, it's not terrible. Um, the front looks pretty good. You know, there's no issues. The corners are sharp. Color's good. There's no yellow print dots or any of that crap on here. So, um, I think it looks pretty good. You know, top to bottom is off at just a hair, but man, it looks great. So there's only, um, yeah, 539 tens out of 12,468 submitted. So again, you're looking at a super low percentage that are making, making tens, um, almost half. So 5,239 are nines and then 4881 for eights. That pretty much takes up most of them but looks really good. And uh, the comps are uh, crazy right now. Um, this one here is 
the yellow bordered starting lineup Jordan. This is from 1990, so this came in a figure, and it had two cards in it in that in that um, that year, that figure, and it had a I think it was this way actually. So it had a yellow one on top, and it had this this brown one on the bottom of the package, and then the figure was over here. So I bought like um, 10 or 11 of these figures. <laughs> I ripped them all open and uh, pulled the cards out. So that's where I got those. Um, so back to this yellow one. So it's 1990. They got a picture of his rookie year on there. Uh, there's only been 279 total submitted to PSA. That's it. There's only 30 PSA 10s. So a little over, you know, 10% are hitting it. But again, I think a lot of people are submitting these things kind of like I am, you know, buying the figure, ripping them open. So it's not like they're sitting in somebody's collection because I had some starting lineup cards. I had the one-on-one -on -one Jordan and Isaiah Thomas um, card. So I have a Jordan card and that one, the, the, I've had it in a, a binder forever, but it wasn't the best condition, but I'm sending it anyways, just because it's, you know, nostalgia purposes. So yeah, 30 tens only, that's it. Only 279 have been submitted. Crazy. Uh, the brown border. There's only been 243 submitted. And there's 36 tens and 65 nines and 87 eights. That's it. So, man, I think these are gonna be a, a hot item because it's something that a lot of people just don't have, right? And it's a legit card, you know? cool story to it and the figures you know being able to pull something mint condition out of those damn things all right and here is the first starting lineup figure card that Jordan had in 1988 um, there's been 656 of these submitted total and there's only 173 oh I'm sorry there's only 37 tens and there's 173 nines and 294 eights. After that, it kind of drops way off, but 37 tens. So about 5% that are being sent in are um, 10 grade. Crazy, right? Only 37 of these. And this one looks pretty good. I mean, the back is centered, I would say, perfectly. Um, The corners are super sharp on this. I actually did a video way when I first started my channel and I took a magnifying glass and I was going up and down all the uh, the edges and the corners and took pictures of them all. So this one here is the best one of them all. Um, it's centered perfectly. The colors are really, really nice. There's no issues. I mean, I just don't see how it can get anything less than a nine. That's my guess anyways. So love this card. Um, I think I got uh, about 10 or 11 of these as well. But this was the best one of the bunch. But yeah, super cool. Um, and then this one here, which I just love this card. Uh, so this is 1996 Bowman's Best Honor Roll uh, Refractor. So it's got Jordan on the front and a Key Milaje one on the back. Um, so when I look at the centering, I just look at these two black lines and then the black border up here. And uh, it's a I mean, it's a little bit off. I'm not gonna deny that on the back. And even and on this side, it looks really, really good. Um, the centering on this looks just perfect on the face. So this is the front of the card. It's got perfect centering. And this one's a little off, but I mean, not bad at all. I think centering wise, this has got no issues at all for, for grading. 
Um, the corners are super sharp. The Elijah on side is perfect surface wise. And then, I mean, it might be a little bit off with like how that little print and embossing is. Just a hair, maybe, I, I don't know, I can't tell. Um, but it looks like the same on both sides, so maybe it's not. Um, there's a little spot on the surface of the Jordan card that has kind of like a more of a shiny look to it. Like it's some, like the film got rubbed off somehow. Um, that's the only surface issue that I saw on the face or the back of this thing. And then the only other thing that I see is this little print line up here. Right up next to his, uh, right above his head there. See if you can see that line. See that? Remember that yellow is right there? And that's the only thing I see. And I think that was in, that's in other cards like this too. I've seen that line in that same spot. So um, it's in the printing for sure. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I just love these cards. I love the color scheme, the black and the, the yellow. And then this is just an awesome picture of Jordan. Like it's, it's probably one of my favorites besides the 88 Fleer card and obviously the rookie card. But um, yeah, this is sick. So that's that one. Um, the population report on this um, there's only been 69 of them submitted total, which I'm guessing, um, pulling one of these is not easy. I paid 220 some bucks for this card last year. I had to have it when I saw it. So, um, it's only 69 submitted. There's only one 10 out there. That's it one uh there's 51 nines and 13 eights and three sevens and one six that, that's that's it um so most of them come back nines but only one ten i think it's just got to be worth thousands <laughs> i mean this is the beginning of the second three peat right here so just absolutely cannot wait to see what this comes back with. And then the last one I have, um, I'm just going to submit another Rodman rookie because, you know, if it comes back a nine at least, which it probably will, it's off centered a little bit. Um, it's a 300 buck card now around there, two, two to 300, depending on the, the day, but they definitely are picking up. I sold my PSA 10 for, for 2000. So that was cool. Um, so yep, yeah, sending this one in. This is the last one that I'm gonna send on the submission. So I think I got 10 cards total. So it's gonna cost me 500 bucks just to get it um, graded. That's just the fee per card. And then it's gonna cost me 50 bucks down there for shipping with insurance. And then probably about the same coming back. So you're looking at about a $600 submission here but um one of these cards is going to pay for that if it if, if something comes back at 10 and that's just if one comes back at 10 of all these um so yeah just a quick recap um so the dennis rodman the uh and the Kim Olajuwon side of this is great too and talk about two hall of famers on the same card right can ask for anybody better. Jordan Bowman's best refractor. The starting lineup, 1988. The starting lineup, 1990 Brown border. The starting lineup. 1990 rookie year picture, 1984 label, uh, yellow border. 1988 Fleer. 
1988 Fleer All-Star. Nineteen eighty eight Fleer sticker. Nineteen eighty seven Fleer sticker. And the nineteen eighty nine Fleer sticker. So and then the Rodman. Um, I think I got a pretty good shot at some some decent decent grades on these things um thanks for checking out the video please subscribe if you haven't i'll definitely do a follow-up video as soon as this stuff comes back hopefully in like a month or so um i'm super excited to see what happens here um with these cards and i'm just trying to strike while the trends are just kind of going crazy right now especially with these jordan cards and, and these you know late 80s um the 87 88s 89s um gonna be interesting to see what we get back so appreciate you guys watching like the video that'd be great uh please leave a comment what you guys think and um hit that bell for notifications if you want to be uh let know when i'm dropping new videos and we'll see you in the next one thanks